What's up everybody? It's Indigo and I'm back with another PCGS unboxing. Now, uh, this order was a little bit different in that it was a crossover. So, I had some uh, NGC, some Annex coins. Um, the first three sent off for a buddy of mine. And the next ones down here um, are all mine. So, um, interestingly enough, they put the reverse mount up for this first Morgan and they put it up for this other Morgan. And I didn't ask for this one to be reverse facing. I didn't ask for, I think I might have asked for the first one to be reverse facing, but I didn't ask for it. So um, I already know which one's crossed. So instead of opening these first, what we're going to do is open up this second larger box that came with it and break out the the materials that came with it so let me zoom you out a little bit so this box if i can figure out how to get into it i think this is the same box they use for the oversized holders like if you you uh send off for the gsa's yeah so this box let's see what's in it so, oh, sorry about that. Let's see. So that's not very good, right there. They put the they put the rubber band right on the photo grade card for the Morgan. Not real happy about that, but they did it. So I can't really undo it now. But. Anyway, these, uh, the 1902 here that we sent off was a 65-65, and it was graded all the way back in October of 1983. Um, really pretty coin, really interesting to have a uh, certification this old from uh, Annex be, um, be still intact. So this is the card that it came with. This is the old Annex grading. Um, 65 65 it was apparently sold at one point for 195 which I didn't pay that much more for it um, but pretty cool it's got the photo grade there and the other coins let's get them out so all right so these three right here are Wisconsin quarters these middle two are this is the extra leaf high and the extra leaf low now looks like you see a lot of scratches on these these are on the holder that's partly why I sent this in is because this holder is not in great shape um, but these coins are actually really really nice shape now the low leaf here is not quite as nice but the high leaf is extremely nice except it does have that one hit out in the field but the obverse is really nice so i thought these both had a shot at a 66 which would have been um fairly expensive coins but sadly none of them crossed it said so um i did put a note one here to crack it out if any of the the extra or if either of the extra leaves cross to crack the whole thing and grade all three coins um they didn't do that because i guess they didn't think they were either one was a 66 um you can see they're both about 300 coins um so i'll probably end up and you see all those scratches on the plastic there I'll probably end up cracking this out at some point and sending those two in raw. The The regular uh, Denver is not worth the money because it is not does not have a shot at anything higher than a 66 and it is not worth it in that grade. It would probably need to be at least about a 68 to make it worth it. So um, those were the two big packages and... Let's get into some of the PCGS 
coins. Now, these are the other ones that didn't cross. And if I can get into them. So. Alright. So, we'll start with the quarter first. So, you see why I sent this in. I mean, it is just electric toning. Really, really nice. Very, very vibrant lime green, oranges. Um, it is a 58 Denver. These are extremely common to find toned for whatever reason. But they did not like this one good enough to cross it. Um, still a beautiful, beautiful coin. So I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with this one. But it was in a 67. Did not cross. So... That one's a little disappointing, but not entirely unexpected. Once you get things that like 67, they, they get pretty picky on them really fast. Now, up next, this, let me zoom in a little bit. This is one of the three coins my buddy sent in, or had me send in for him, I guess. And it was the only one of the three where he requested it not cross if it didn't cross at the grade. So the other two we put cross at any grade level. Um, and this one was a 65 and it did not cross. So um, I, I can't grade buffaloes. I think he would probably tell you neither one of us can because we, we both thought this had a pretty good shot at a 65. Um, I've seen 65s that look less attractive than this i've seen you know some that that i don't i don't know how they get a 65 out of it unless unless they're looking right here at the top of the buffalo there it kind of looks like it may be scratched a little bit and the toning's kind of hiding that so maybe that's what they're looking at i don't know but either way again really beautiful coin did not cross so, next up, let me grab these old certs out. All right, so let's see. So I'll start with the one we've already seen, which was this 1902O. And again, I did not tell them to reverse face this. I don't know why they did that. I don't understand it, but they crossed it at a 65 and they reverse faced it in the holder i didn't make that call they did it i i don't know why i'm not usually a fan of reverse facing coins in pcgs slabs but i am a fan of 65 morgans straight grading so nice coin um not really sure why they did what they did but they did so either way all right next up we have a Walking Liberty, a 1946. Again, you got some really nice detail on the dress there. Not a lot of marks in the field. Got a few over by the sun. The reverse is really clean, as you would expect here. Nice San Francisco minted coin. Um, beautiful luster. Little, little tiny hint of tone on the eagle. It was a, a 65 and it came back as a 65 so this one straight crossed and i am happy about that because i <coughs> excuse me i did not really like the ngc holder that coin was in it hadn't been taken very good care of it wasn't in great shape um and i'd rather have it in the pcgs holder anyway and now it is so next up See if I can find the right label for it here. Yep. So this is a coin I bought, I believe, in November. Nice S-minted quarter. It does have a mark on the, the bird's leg. But other than that, it's an extremely clean reverse. And I didn't really need this coin, but the luster is just phenomenal. So... I, I figured I'd grab it and see what I could do with it, see if it would cross, but 
really pretty luster it does have a mark in the hair little little you know a couple marks here and there but it was a ms67 in the ngc and it's an ms67 in a pcgs now so um second one straight cross there and really really nice so let's see which one this one is next up we have a 1921 Morgan that was an, an MS-63. So why would you grade a 21 Morgan? Well, because of the color. Look at that. So this is one of my, my buddy's coins, and it is beautiful. It really is. Um, looks like it might have a little bit of a rotated rotated reverse on there. Um, not, not enough to really amount to anything, but really nice, pretty. Got a hint of orange and green on the rim. Some nice blues and purples out in the field. Um, very nice for a 1921. Actually, it's got full strike. It's got some real good detail. Um, does have a lot of bagginess out here in the field, which is what held it back to a 63 for NGC and for PCGS. So, also straight crossed. All right. And oddly enough, that one was obverse mounted. Again, I didn't ask either way, and they just kind of took it upon themselves to, to do that. So uh, up next, we have an Annex graded 1881S. So it was an MS-64, extremely common date, extremely you know, common coin in the grade, but extremely uncommon tone. So just very vibrant, greens and and purples and fuchsias and all that in there really really pretty reverse on this one this one i understand why they reverse mounted because it is a reverse toner it is a beautiful reverse toner it's got that little hint of blue that little burnt edge up top really pretty coin really well struck does have some bagginess but that's not why you buy this coin that is so it crossed, again, straight crossed at a 64. So um, all in all, no upgrades uh, on any of the coins that did cross. No, no huge surprises other than perhaps the extra leaf uh, quarter. So like I said, I figured at least one of them would cross at a 66. And I was telling them to go ahead and cross them all over if at least one crossed that's all i was asking just as long as one of them crossed over um we would be good and it didn't but that's the game right so um i hope you enjoyed this i hope you can tell me maybe you can tell me why these two didn't um like i said the only thing i can really think of on this one would be that what looks like maybe a scratch on the buffalo right Let's see if i can show it again right in here going that way maybe that's what held it back maybe they thought it was questionable color i don't know it doesn't really say it just no don't hold her and then on this one again i don't know maybe they question the color i don't think so i've seen much more vibrant toners especially well wait a minute I see exactly why this one didn't cross. So you, you see right there, it's our good old friend, the wheel mark. So see these lines going this way? This very, very beautiful toner has a wheel mark. So that one, mystery solved why it didn't cross. It's right there. You see those lines? Again, going that way across the portrait which is just a shame too because look at that reverse i mean that is that is as vibrant as you can ask for for a toner so a wheel mark that i missed through the toning ngc missed and apparently pcgs did not so um and you can't blame that one on on anything else because it's in the holder and you can see the wheel mark so yep 
right there. So that explains that one, but if you can tell me why the, the buffalo didn't cross or why either of these um, extra leaf quarters didn't cross, then please tell me below. Because like I said, I didn't expect them to be 67s, but I did think they had a shot at a 66 because they are very nice uncirculated quarters. I mean, you turn it, you turn them dark, and you're not seeing a lot of little tiny, tiny hits. See a few on the on the the cheek there, couple on the forehead, but I mean, these are pretty clean. So I don't know. Um, what do you think? Tell me below. And would you do this? Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it wasn't worth it? You know, let me know your thoughts. So um, if you made it this long, sorry for the rambling never done a crossover before i do have one more um, crossover that is coming soon um, it is all ultra modern uh, so america the beautiful quarters and those had some i'll say better results than this order did um, although again i can't complain too much so um, if you made it this long thanks for watching please hit that like and subscribe and have a good one